good. Uh, this week, I'm here with Casey Fogel, a senior uh, Winters Mill Girls Lacrosse. Casey, I know you're kind of new at goalie, so tell me a bit, little bit about making the transition from field to, to keeper. Um, it was actually a little confusing at first, but um, as I worked at it with my goalie coach, Mr. Peters, and as my team encouraged me, I felt myself getting quicker and better and stepping towards the ball more and it gave me more of a challenge for college next year and just having different perspectives on the field. What was the biggest hurdle you think uh, from switching positions? You know it's not something you can just like pick up a stick and, and be pretty good at right away. The biggest hurdle was probably throwing with it. It was very hard to um, balance out the weight from the top of a goalie stick than a field stick. What's the most uh, exciting part so far about being a goaltender? So, you know, switch, switch positions like you have. The exciting part about it is um, Probably that when I make a save, it all the pressure is, comes down to the shot, and right. when you make that save, it's so important, and your team just gets revved up from it, and it starts a new transition, a new play, and just having that possession just gets us all revved up. Yeah, it turns defense into offense, really, mm -hmm. right from there. Um, what did you guys learn from a game like yesterday, where it obviously just didn't go your way against Westminster? I know um, you never want to lose, but what do you try to take out of a game like that? Um, more of just breaking down of what went wrong and how we could fix it. And I think yesterday um, communication fell short and transition fell short. And um, you know, at practice today, we're going to work on talking and communicating better and just getting that ball in our stick and working up the field. Uh, now, you, you came in uh, new to Winters Mill two years ago? Yes. Where did you transfer from? Francis Scott Key. Okay. What was the biggest change that in, in that regard? Um, Winters Mill takes everything serious. We we work really hard at what we do. We Not that Key doesn't, but I felt I like it was very, it was just more down to it. And okay. it's a successful program. and Expectations are there, too, obviously, yes. from one to the other. And it's it feels good. Feels good to be a Falcon. <laughs> All right. Um, if uh, if your family's heading out to dinner and you get to pick the place, where uh, where are you going to eat? Sakura. Oh, without a doubt, Sakura. Sakura. I love shrimp sauce there. If I could steal it, I would, but they don't sell it. But... Oh man. Well, maybe one day they will. Yes. <laughs> one junk food um, that you, you shouldn't eat, but you always find yourself grabbing. Junk food. Um, peanut butter M and M's. It's a good one. Could eat a whole bag. Yeah, that's a good one. They do sell those, unfortunately for us, right? Yes. <laughs> fortunately for us. <laughs> um, favorite class you've taken at Winters Mill? Favorite class, probably psychology. With? Really, Miss Sawacki. Okay. Um, she was a great teacher. She was a new teacher. She actually graduated from Winters Mill, so she was cool. And um, the class itself was just really interesting. And um, I'm going to college now to study psychology. Oh, cool. Okay, so you you really want to get into that field then? Yes. Great. great. Um, if I came to school tomorrow and gave you a check for a million bucks, what would you do with the money? I'd probably, as corny as it sounds, <laughs> I'd probably donate to Haiti because I have such a heart for Haiti and my church is very involved with Haiti okay. and Mozambique Good. orphans, so probably to a house for all the orphans and new clothes. You got a plan there, that's nice. Last thing, uh, if you're getting ready for a big game and you have your headphones in or your, your iPod or whatever it is, what's the first thing that pops up? What gets, uh, what gets Casey charged up for a game ready to go? As funny as it sounds, salt and pepper. I like my old school. And probably some, I guess, Toby Mac. I love Toby Mac. Okay. Toby Mac and salt and pepper. There you go. All right, Casey, well, thanks for giving us a few minutes and good luck the rest of the season. Thank you. Thanks.